Till my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Welcome back to the Moran family. So today's video is going to be a day in the life inside the house again. And today's video is also in collaboration with another YouTube mama who I love. Her name is Brittany as well. She has two daughters, Elena and Everly. So Everly is six months, I believe, and then her daughter Elena is two years old. So she has a lot of content like mine. So she has day in the life videos, mommy related content, baby related content, vlogs, all of that stuff. So I'll leave her YouTube channel down below and I'll also leave like a little glimpse of her channel on the screen right here so you guys can check that out. So like I said, today's video is going to be just a day in the life. I have some home updates that I wanna share with you guys. Brittany's video is also going to be a day in the life as well, so don't forget to check her video out after you guys watch mine. Aurora is over here eating her snacks because you guys know Aurora is Miss Snack Queen over here. Huh, Marie? Mm -hmm. What are you eating? Can you show us? Mmm, those banana chips. <laughs> the girls are obsessed with this. We get it from Target. It's called Handful of Everything. It's trail mix, so there's fruit in here, yogurt flavored peanuts, chocolate chips, almonds, raisins. There's also like pineapples, mango, papaya, so it's really good and the girls love it. And the girls are always finishing it. I love snacking on this too, but the girls will literally, if I like don't pay attention and I just let them sit here and eat this, they will finish this within two days. So this time around, I bought two, one for me and one for you girls. And then Layla over here is just playing in some toys. And Layla was super excited when I told her that we're filming a day in the life because she said, yay, I can stay in PJs. <laughs> They're so cozy. Yeah, what are you playing with over here? Oh, you found more banana chips? Mmm, yummy. It looks like Five bananas again. Yeah, and Layla also has school, so we gotta do that soon. But I think I'm gonna show you guys all of the house updates. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you've seen like everything that I've done recently to the house because I share a lot on there. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I definitely recommend following me over there because I share a lot of things there first before I share them on YouTube just because it's easier to post on Instagram than editing like a whole video. So, there's lots of new things in the house. I'm not gonna show you guys in detail, so I'm not gonna like go over every little thing and where it's from because I do wanna film a house tour. The goal is to finish the house completely before baby is here. So, the house tour should hopefully be going up soon. The only thing that's probably not going to get done is the backyard because since everybody is social distancing we can't really have anybody come over and work on the yard right now so that's probably going to be the only thing that's not going to be done before baby gets here but other than that everything else is going to be done yesterday we cleared out the guest room for the most part because we had our old furniture in the guest room and it just doesn't like fit the vibe of our new house because i have a lot of like black and white like neutral tones in the house and our old furniture was like dark brown so it just didn't match and we don't really have any use for like an extra like entire bedroom set because it was the bed frame obviously like the mattress and everything it was like a headboard two nightstands um a lamp and then like a huge dresser so we don't really have any need for that i don't think you guys have ever been in there i don't think i've ever showed you guys because it was 
a tornado so I kind of was hiding that room but it's not that bad anymore because like I said we were working on it yesterday so I'll show you guys that but before I show you guys the house updates show you guys the bump well and this mirror because this is new so our entryway is pretty much done already you guys know I've been working on it and I finally got the mirror hung so here is my almost 14 week belly i think today i'm 13 weeks and five days i want to say so my belly looks huge today i have some maternity leggings on so i feel like it really just like accentuates the belly but that is my stomach with baby number four super cute this baby is here to say hello and then this chair is also new but this is not going to stay in here this is going to get moved into the guest room because the plans for the guest room is basically going to be like benny's gaming room i guess and then i think we're going to get rid of that one because that's his old gaming chair so he upgraded to that one which is really nice since i am pregnant and my back has been hurting I've been using his chair as well because it does massage you as well, so love that chair. And then another update that I did in here was I just added a few books right here. I plan on getting some more so that way it's like more stacked right here. But I have this one, How Not to Kill Your House Plant. And then this one, it's beautifully organized, so it's about like organizing your house. And on the fireplace, I just added this garland to kind of hide like the sound bar and all of that. And then the other updates over here, excuse the lighting, are these curtains. So I love the way this window brings in light, so I wanted sheer curtains right here. And then, let me see if I can get this camera to focus. Excuse the lighting, guys. And then I ended up getting this really big plant for the corner right here. And then let's see, what else did I do to the house? I added some curtains in the playroom as well. These are completely sheer. I know it's kind of hard to tell right now because the sun is being down right here. But these are 100% sheer because this window lets in a lot of light into the kitchen and the playroom area. So I wanted sheer curtains for that. I am still planning on filming the playroom makeover. I have everything finally. I was waiting on the rug for the longest because it was coming from H&M. So, ooh, let me split this around. There we go. Hello. So I was waiting on the rug for the longest, but finally it came in and that was the last piece I needed to film the playroom makeover. So that video should be going up soon. I'm just waiting for... Benny to have a day off that way he can help me because I need to hang some stuff on the walls and I need to build some furniture also excuse me huffing and puffing in this video because I'm so out of breath and then so this is my room you guys haven't been in my room in a while sorry for the little messes here and there like I said we've been cleaning out the rooms so there's a lot of like random piles that we have in like every room such as like that one because we're going through everything, we're making like donation piles. So everything is kind of all crazy right now. But yeah, this is my room. I just recently hung that, but I need more stuff over here. The baby's crib is actually going to go right here on my side of the bed. A lot of you guys were asking me if we were going to do a nursery. But right now, baby is going to be in our room. So the baby's crib is going to be on my side of the bed like I showed you guys. I do plan on breastfeeding again, so I feel like it would just be practical to have the baby in our room since I'm going to be up multiple times at night. And then once the baby does get bigger, we do have plans to change up the rooms. That way the baby isn't in our room the full entire time. But for the time being, probably for baby's first year, baby's probably going to be in our room. Anyways, other updates that I have in my room are these curtains. I'm so sorry for the lighting guys it's like really bright outside so I know it's kind of hard to show you guys but yeah so we added curtains and then I have a few things for baby over here but I don't want to show you guys them completely yet because I do have some clabs coming out that is going to be baby's hamper as well but I have a blanket shoved in it because I'm trying to reshape it and then yeah I haven't really done anything in the bathroom 
but then I'm gonna show you guys the girls' room. So we did hang up a lot of stuff right here. So all of this stuff just recently got hung, the little mirror, and then the little, I'm um, not sure what you call it, like the little tapestry that just recently got hung. There's no updates in this bathroom as well. That's the girls' bathroom. And then this is the office, which is probably the craziest room right now. Like I said, we're making a lot of like donation piles and stuff, so excuse that. But we did get new desk chairs. Layla and I got the same exact ones. This rug is not going to be in here. The rug from the girls' playroom is actually going to go in here because I feel like it would match really well. And then got some sheer curtains in here as well. All of these boxes right here are for the girls' playroom. So all of that stuff. So here is the guest room. All of this stuff is like donation. So ignore that. But yeah, Benny just recently built that yesterday. So that's going to be like the entertainment center. I think he's going to put that up against this wall with the TV. And then probably like some cube shelves. So yeah, this is the guest room for now. It looks really crazy. Okay, so today for school, you have, let me check off the ones you Don't are have. finished with already. Finished with a lot of them already. Do you saw, spot the difference? No, you finished that one, right? Um, we still have spot the difference. We do? Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and grab that one then. Yeah, okay. You have the easy peasy alphabet. That's the letters. This one? Yes. Okay. homeschooling Layla right now I wanted to show you guys how I do her learning log so like I've explained before I do obviously homeschool her so I am her teacher at home but she still does have a higher up teacher that communicates a lot with me just to make sure I'm teaching Layla everything she needs to know and her actual teacher just pretty much keeps me and Layla on track so she keeps track of like all of Layla's work. So every single month I have to do a learning log. I have to fill it out. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. And then her teacher also keeps track of like test scores. And then her teacher submits all of that to the state. So I still am technically Layla's teacher because I teach her everything myself at home. But she does have another teacher that just basically keeps track of our progress. So here is Layla's learning log. So I have to submit a new learning log every single month. That way her teacher can review it and make sure Layla's on track for the month. So for example, I have to submit language arts, math, science, social studies, and then she also has, let me see. She also has PE over here. So basically what I have to do is I go through all of Layla's like workbooks. So I'll rip out like sheets. So this one is math. And then I will seal it up in an envelope and I'll mail it to her teacher. That way her teacher gets some work samples so she can physically see how Layla is doing. She can look at her writing and all of that stuff. So I will go through for every single subject. I will try to find like some type of work sample to send to her teacher. Again, for example, here is Layla's math one that I'm going to send her. So then I would go to math. I would go for the month. And then all I have to do is just kind of write three things that Layla has learned. For example, I can put Layla learned how to skip count by five. Layla learned how to use blocks to solve for the unknown. Layla learned how to solve word problems. So it's really simple. I just have to write like three things. And then I also have to write like a summary of how Layla did for the month. 
and then if everything looks great her teacher will sign off on it and then so that's pretty much it so it's really simple i just have to submit work samples and then i just have to keep track of it on a log so it's really easy i just have to do it once a month Marie, mm. mommy wants you to do this one okay mm -hmm. so listen to the sentence okay so it says this is a dog this is a dog mm -hmm. dog listen to the next sentence a cat sat on a mat you see the cat he's sitting on the mat huh so i want you to color the doggy and the cat okay can you do that go ahead go ahead and color him Find all of Daddy's socks and put them in a pile right here, please. Mm. Yeah, find all the sockies and put them here, okay? Ew. Yeah, there's another one. Good job. When we were young, I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. Aurora was having a dance party in here while I'm doing laundry and look at what's in her hair She has silly putty you guys Oh my gosh Aurora How did you get this in your hair mama? Goodness, thankfully it's not like slime So it literally just comes out but My gosh Rory you don't have any more? Yeah. How did you do that? How'd you get putty in your hair? Yeah, how do you do that? Give me the putty, baby. Yeah. No more putty for you, I okay? I threw away the pink putty. That's the only one. I took everywhere. Okay, thank you. No more putty, okay? Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm throwing it's away okay. the putty. The putty is hard anyway because you left it out on the floor too. So now it's here. It's okay, all right? Oh my. So I totally forgot to give us girls our vitamins this morning. So these are the ones that I give the girls. They're by the brand Ollie. It's just the Multi Plus Probiotics. And then if you didn't catch my first trimester pregnancy recap, then you probably don't know which prenatals I've been taking. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. So these are by Nature Made. I don't take these that much anymore because they're gummies. So they don't contain any iron, so I steer clear of these, but I was taking these when I was nauseous. And then since I'm not nauseous anymore, I've been taking these one a day women's prenatal vitamins. And then I also have so many vitamins, guys. I also have these ones from the military doctor. You guys want vitamins? Yes, please. Okay. But we're almost done with those. I ordered another one. There's another one in there. Uh, Whoop, I poured way too many. One for you. Mmm, yum. It's good. <laughs> what you doing in here? Cleaning. You want to tell them what room this is? I showed them a little bit earlier. This is going to gonna be the, the big dog house. Yeah. I'm just kidding. You can't even call it a dog house because be he'll, like dog he'll gladly go in here. Like, I'll be like, if I'm mad at him and I send him to this room, he'll be like, okay. I stay in here a couple of days. <laughs> And you put that mini fridge in my head, so now I have that. Oh yeah, I was joking with him. Cause he was all like, he said something like that I'll, I'm never gonna see him again cause he's gonna be in this room. And I said, yeah, all I gotta do is just get you a mini fridge in here and then I'd literally never see you. Cause he wouldn't have to come out of this room for anything. Yeah, he's trying to set it up. Right now I got this little baby TV. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <laughs> baby TV? <laughs> yeah. Whenever Benny got home, we ended up calling the OB to see if my non-invasive prenatal testing results came in. Cause today marks a week that we've gotten like the testing done. And the lady at the lab said it would take about a week. But unfortunately the results still aren't in, so I'm a little bummed about it. Yeah, but we gotta clean out the garage. You see with me? Yeah, hopefully the results come in either tomorrow or the day after because today's wednesday i'm filming this so if they don't come in soon then we're gonna have to wait through the weekend again that's gonna be a bummer 
I'm like so stressed about waiting already. Like I just want to know we're ready. Yeah, while we were waiting for the phone call, like I was happy but stressed at the same time. I felt like I needed to throw up. I was so nervous. Like not knowing and the what ifs, like is is a lot. Daddy, come What's out there? All me and Bala. I'm all Oh, all the chalk outside. I know. I saw them. <laughs> oh, you want to show the Rand family? Yeah. What? What's out there? What's yeah. out there? Yeah. All the chalk on the floor. Yeah. I don't know if they can see it from in here, but there's like hopscotch on the floor and stuff. Gary, you're so heavy. Okay, let me see. Can we please hold on to mommy? We'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Don't forget to check out Brittany's channel. I will have it linked down below. And if you guys are coming over from her channel, welcome. We would love to have you over here, so don't forget to subscribe. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Ram Family. Make sure you hit that bell, that way you guys always get notified every single time we upload. It's a breath. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys. See ya. Say bye.